our return to basics, we're not looking at a posture, but instead at a breathing technique. So find a comfortable seat of your choice, whether you try any of the variations of easy seat, including a chair or Baddha Konasana. Today we're going to be looking at Apa Japa breathing. And Apa Japa breathing is actually just focusing on the breath. It's coming into your comfortable position. Move anything around that you would be fidgeting with. Make sure that you're there and comfortable. I suggest allowing the hands to either lay flat on the legs or palms open, whatever feels best for your shoulders and whatever is going to make it so that you don't fidget as much. And we're going to allow the eyes to close. And for Apa Japa breathing, typically the yoga teacher will have you focus on different things at a time. The one thing that you want to make sure is that you are paying attention to your breathing and that you are not breathing incorrectly. So they might say something like, notice if your inhales are long or short. And they'll often say things like, don't try to change anything. What they want you to do is notice your patterns of breathing in your normal day-to-day -day life. Because usually when we start a yoga practice, we go into yoga mode, we start breathing more deeply. But as soon as we start our yoga practice, we start to go back to our old habits of breathing. So Apa Japa is focusing on the breath and focusing how you breathe normally. So for me, if I am very excited, I typically am breathing just in my chest and I have to remind myself to breathe fully. So I will walk you through Apa Japa breathing knowing that there's nothing really that you need to do besides focus on the things that I tell you to focus on. So again, close your eyes if they're not already. And just notice how you're feeling sitting here today. Notice if there's any areas that you feel tension, any areas that feel tight or feel tired. Don't critique anything. Don't try to change anything. Just notice how you're feeling. Notice where you're breathing, where you notice the breath. Is your chest rising? Is your belly moving? Does your breath feel warm or cool? Does your breath feel smooth or jagged? Are your inhales long or short? Are the exhales long or short? Notice if your breathing changes at all by focusing on it. And then when you're ready, we'll move into a deeper breath. So slowly bat the eyelids open. I had you focus on how you were breathing, and then I set you up for a different breathing technique. And that is something you'll quite often see in yoga class. I suggest too that you take some time, whether you put like a notification on your phone or on your watch, and just see how you're breathing throughout the day. Like I said, we often change things when we come to do our yoga practice, or if you're doing something like running, you would focus on how you breathe for that activity, but oftentimes we're not focusing on how we're breathing throughout the day. So I hope this helped uh, clarify what Apa Japa breathing is and that that will help you when you go to your yoga classes. If you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of my Return to Basics series. Also make sure you're subscribed so you know when a new video comes out. And leave a comment below if there's a particular type of yoga pose or breathing exercise that you are interested in learning more about. Remember to keep grounding down into your strengths and growing as an individual. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.